My name is Tesla, and this is my untitled quilt. I have worked on it over the last few months. I was inspired because I wanted to try something more abstract and like these colors. And I had done a quilt before and wanted to try it again. Hello, I am Frankie Senatori. The title of my piece is Drained. It is made from clay and it went through the kiln and then ended up at my house where I then painted it these odd colors. The inspiration for this piece came from when I was looking at one of my dead plants leaves and it just looked very melancholy and well drained, which is where I got the name for the piece. Hello, my name is Giovanna Mahoney. I am an eighth grader at Da Vinci, and I'm going to be talking about the masks I made. The three masks based on my three years at Da Vinci. The first mask I made on my first year, sixth grade. It's the rainbow one, and it's called Hello, and it is based off and is inspired by all the happiness and excitement I felt at my first year at Da Vinci. Um, the second one is the one with all the tentacles and the black eyes, and it is called I Am Sorry. And it is um, inspired by all the depression and fear I had. A lot of stuff was going on in my life when I made that. Um, and the last one, the most recent one I made for my eighth year, eighth grade year of Da Vinci, and it's called Goodbye. And it is about um, me leaving Da Vinci and me moving on with my life and how uh, Da Vinci has helped me grow and change as a person. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Ellie Osborne. The name of my art piece is called Brindle Beauty and it was inspired by my pug buddy who I love so much. Hi everyone, my name is V. Maldonado. I'm Assistant Dean of Diversity and Inclusion at Pacific Northwest College of Art here in Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much for inviting me to say a couple of things on the occasion of your promotion. First of all, congratulations. It's a huge accomplishment to be uh, going into high school as young artists and designers. It's such an important part of your creative development. Um, I wanna share something that I wish somebody had told me when I was at your point. You're part of the art world already. The work you're doing now really represents the work you're doing as an emerging artist and designer. Having taken a look at some of the work you all produce for the Scholastic Art Awards and the work that you shared in your slideshow, I'm so hopeful for the future because in your creativity imagination, I see the ideas, dialogues, and stories that are missing from today. I'm originally from Mexico and I grew up in California 
So I know very well how exclusive the art and design worlds can be. And I have to say, I'm so excited for the future. The stories, the images, the feelings, the thoughts, the ideas that you're conjuring in your work are really going to set us on the right foot forward. So keep going. I know that some of you took part in um, studying the Vitruvian Man by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is, uh, like many artists, uh, an artist that I considered uh, a, a role model, uh, somebody who understood the, the complex relationship between the arts and science. We need you to continue to do that work today. Uh, both art, design, really marry well with science because it's about observation, our ability to imagine uh, beyond what we can see and to use our language to describe what we can see. So continue that work. I personally uh, worked on a piece called La Vetruvia, which is uh, a querying of Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Vitruvian Man rather than looking at a universal as a cis male, what if the universal was a trans woman? How would that shift our understanding of the universe and order? And so really as artists and designers, we're not just considering what art and design can be. Today, like you, we're, we're considering who artists and designers can be today and tomorrow. So take your time developing, and join us, we need you. Hopefully one day I'll see some of you at PNCA, but even if you are not gonna go onto art school, know that you will be a creative learner and you will be a creative entrepreneur for the rest of your life. And I'm here to help you in any way I can. Congratulations, everyone. Good luck on the next stage of your development.